this is Richard from Trans Image Imaging Video. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Seattle Central Library in downtown Seattle. This is a modern library designed by the architecture firm OMA, probably known as Remco House and also by Joshua Rambis. The local architects are Yellow man. Oh yeah, and here we are walking across the street between 4th and Madison, looking at the first entrance. You can see the steel curtain walls and glasses. Um, also, the structural engineer is MKA, located in Seattle, and the MEP is Arfruf. A R U P. And here we are coming into the entrance. It's a vestibule. You can look around. To your right, you see a book drop that's some kind of mechanical system. It just pulls the book up over to the ceiling. This library was built in 2004. I'm looking at the budget and it costs $165.9 million, which is pretty good price for a library. And here we're in, in turning towards the children's library. And now we're looking at the uh, Microsoft Art auditorium with some green seatings this is the kids library some nice modern circular lights the central library Listed has 1.5 million books. And we're in the digital age, and there's listed as having also 400 computers. Now we're back at the entry and walking towards the first escalator. It has a nice uh, neon yellow look to it. This is not a mo Seattle, you don't see this much in Seattle, but it seems to be more European design or feature. Nice wood texture panel. And this stair takes us to the 5th Street entrance. You look around and see a nice atrium space. The building is supported by columns and posts and beam basically, but it's hidden really well, so the space is unobstructive. This is our second set of a uh, es escalator. Looking to them for some kind of artwork. It's not turned on right now, but you see a picture projection of people's face on it, on those globes. The fifth level is the main computer space. Most people use the library 
for the computer and the internet. And we're heading towards the third long set of es escalator. Also neon green, I mean yellow, sorry. This place takes us to more books, but the level is called the Dewey's Decimal System. You see the numbers on the floor. And the neat thing about this level is there's like three levels of ramping floors. beam that supports the storefront windows also acts as lateral for the structure and that's and you're looking into this this room called the Dewey decimal system area this library is 11 stories tall with a parking garage at the bottom and we're heading towards the top and you see more books the design of this library looks like a stacking a few books stacked together and that's why it offsets a little from the exterior And here we are at the top floor. Actually, there's a mechanical level above. For the public, this is the top floor. And see, it's open space with a lot of reading space. The nice current wall. And we're back at the fifth street entrance the thing about this library is you go up by escalator but you go down by using the either the scare case or the elevator that's a little odd about it there's no escalator going down. And we were walking towards the red room. We was coming there, not there yet. More books. Really nice space, it open to the light. We came at night because there would be less people. It's easy to walk through. And up the red stairs. This level was mostly meeting rooms and office space for the library. The public can walk through it, but the rooms are not accessible unless you're part. down at the I do believe that's the fourth floor no that's the third floor I mean the red room is the fourth floor Let's see people get out of the room I'll just turn around that hole is where you saw those globes on the escalator. And 
nothing's turned on. So from here you can look, go back down to the third floor, which is the 5th street entrance, or you can go up through this staircase, and this will be the computer room on the 5th floor that we went through already. You can see materials metal guardrails, graded guardrails, metal stairs, very expensive, nice material, flooring is also metal. or something. The walls are all curvy. But you don't really see much in Seattle. museum let's take a sneak peek on the third floor you're looking down at the Microsoft Auditorium and also that big open space this is a checkout area on the fifth on the third floor but it's on the fifth street entrance And now we're on 5th of Mass and looking at the library from the southeast corner. And this is where it kind of looks like a book, a bunch of stacked books in a way, folding pages maybe. Structural lattice. This looks really nice. It glows at night. We'll look at a couple of slides of the building. The detail that went into this. That's pretty much the Seattle Central Library from an architectural walkthrough. Hope you enjoy this.